Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. I was uh, playing around also with the uh, ATS 25 DSP. You know, this is a mixed bag for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people find that it's expensive for what it is, and uh, you know, it all depends what you want to look at and what you are looking for. Um, I'm not saying it's cheap. I have to say uh, that said, for what it is, I kind of find it cute and fun to play with. Now, it's interesting because there's a lot of uh, people reporting that there's really a lot of differences between each one. Some have the encoder backwards, some have a bad encoder. So it seems quality control might not be the top quality of this thing. Also, there's a lot of firmware updates that uh, people are showing up, one from Russia, one from a couple from other countries where uh, people have written a new firmware, which means that if you want, you can actually change this interface that here is my default interface. Actually, I should shut down and show you guys what actually the interface is all about. This is what I have as an interface little CD. So uh, you see here the uh, PE0 uh, ID here, the, 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 the ham operator that actually created the firmware for it on this one. Uh, there's also a lot of little things that are kind of interesting uh, people. It's like, oh, well, there's presets, so let's put presets. Well, the presets don't work. The preset button actually is made to just go to, um, you know, the FM band. So when you press preset, you're just going to the FM band 88 to 108. Um, buttons are a little small if you have big fingers. That's one thing also. I use actually a stylus, which is kind of a, a pen and a stylus at the same time that I got at the dollar store, actually. And that works great for this little radio. Um, so, you know, I just mostly key in my frequencies on this thing to, to go to the frequencies I want to go to. So, like I was on uh, 13750 for Radio Thailand. I'll just press enter and here we go. Uh, one of the things about this is that it always defaults to AM. So, whether, whatever, whatever band you punch in the key, on the keypad, uh, you'll be in AM for the most part. Uh, you also have shortcuts here. There's the band thing. This will give you shortcuts for uh, FM, long wave, medium wave, the amateur bands. Um, well, the international broadcast bands mostly, sorry. But, um, and PX, for those that wonder, that's the CB band. Uh, 11 meters, pretty much CB. So that's if you press PX here, it'll actually go to the CB band, 27200 being centered there. So it depends what you want to do. Uh, but you can go easily from one band to the other. Say I want to go to 31 meters. Here we go, on N600, 31 meters. And then you can tune around the different steps, so the frequencies, sorry. And it does shift. So that means here I'm a 9400, which is the bottom of the band usually. If I go down, it goes back up to 12 to 10100. So if I want to go to 9395, I'll actually have to key it in. 9395 for WRMI. And then after that, I can go and continue down. So, you know, you'll have the options here. Uh, a lot of people are wondering, say, well, I press like you showed and there's no fine tuning. Fine tuning is only in single sideband. So for that, you have to go and change mode. And for example, if I go in upper sideband, now if I crib, I'm just gonna go back to mode because it didn't work here. Mode, upper sideband. If I press, you see that I'm on fine tuning and it has that minus or positive thing like a lot of BFOs. Usually zero is centered, but it could be a little off. So depending on what you want to do, uh, that's one thing also. Uh, another thing that is not very well written, uh, and I'll check it out here. So on bottom here, you see AJC. Now, AJC is automatic gain control. And automatic gain control refers to the speed of the slope of when there's a signal from you know zero to 100 and 100 to zero. 
In single sideband particularly, the AGC is important. A good AGC will give you a smoother single sideband um, experience. But the problem is that this is not an AGC. When you press here, you actually go to what is an attenuator. So this is not an EGC. It's an attenuator and it's not well written what it does actually. So these are all little things that are weird in this radio. So here you see AGC and when you press attenuator set and you see that it's attenuator. So it's kind of weird. So when you turn it on, you're turning that on basically. Or it's kind of weird uh, the way that it's done. Of course, you can return here. But overall, and you see it has its little sluggishness in response time. But overall, I still like this radio and I still like to play with it and have a lot of fun um, tuning around. Um, it's one of my little go to radios that I find kind of cute. And, you know, I, I guess, and that's what the number one comment that a lot of people have had. Number one comment being uh, that um, this is um, this is um, you know a um, <clears throat> a radio that has a cute screen, but apart from that, you know it's it's definitely an experimental little thing, a little box, and nothing more. It's uh, you know people that ask me should I buy this or not, or should I buy a Texan or. I'd go to standard radio unless you want to have the quirks, possible quirks of this radio. And, you know, it's, it's more for experimentation and fun than, than, you know, I would not buy this as my main receiver, that's for sure. But, um, you know, hope that little overlook at the way it works uh, gives you the, uh, the idea behind using the radio. And um, get yourself a little stylus. It definitely, definitely helps when you tune around to uh, go on the uh, the different bands. Uh, here you have the ham bands also that you can check out, which is of course on BFO mode. It gives you an idea of the different ham bands. So here I've got one. Let's put the volume a little higher. Now, I'm going to use the click. That gives you more natural voice. It does mute when you tune, but as you see, the attack is quite fast, meaning it's annoying, but it actually is better than some of the radios that the slope for the uh, the soft mute is very long, uh, but you know, it's a DSP-based radio, so uh, most of them do mute, unfortunately. So uh, that was a quick uh, using the little buttons and checking out the ATS-25. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.